ethical concerns aside, it seems that raw honey meets all the seven criteria of what's considered a food. Uh, I'm not a fan of raw honey. Like most other simple carbohydrates, it's absorbed too quickly and has significant impact on it. It says that the glycemic index is moderate. Uh, glycemic index doesn't matter. I don't remember what the load is. What's that? Well, and again, although although the charts talk about quantity being an issue, it's not so much about the quantity. Obviously, the more you eat, it's about how quickly you process it. So if you take a whole jar of honey and eat it at once, yes, then quantity is as an effect. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, it's health-wise, it's not so bad. I, personally, I wouldn't use it. I would much rather eat fruit than eat a concentrated, simple sugar. What do you okay. eat with fruit? Well, it's better than eating it by itself. I mean, it's okay, but, uh, but there are ethical concerns. I, and I personally, I don't know how you get around that. I mean, that's not why we're here. But personally, I mean, I, I believe, first of all, how, how, many of, how many of you would like to live in a peaceful world? Anybody interested in that? Okay. So I think the only way we're going to create real peace in the world is if we stop committing violent acts. And I think it's violent to force other species to do what's unnatural for them to use them for our benefit. Okay, most honey, first of all, it really is, it's pretty devoid of nutrition because their bees are fed sugar water instead of being able to collect uh, the nectar from flowers, they're sh fed sugar water. You never want to consume that. You can buy high quality organic honey where they've been able to wild craft it, they've been able to get it from flowers, the nectar, but Bees make honey. Why? So you can have some on your apples? No. They have food for the winter. That's the food for the winter. Okay. Um, you take it away from them and they've got to go make more. It's not, I mean, uh, personally, you know, my choice, when I, as soon as I realized I did not eat, need animal products to be healthy, my very next thought was, what gives me the right to use animals if I don't have to? So you can think about that. But personally, I, I, I do my, uh, sometimes it's almost impossible to avoid. Right, for those of you who are just arriving, I own no leather. I don't wear silk anymore. I still have a couple of old wool suits that I'll wear, sport coats, because I haven't replaced them yet. But I wouldn't buy again, ever. None of that stuff, okay? And the same is true with food products. I mean, there's, there's no reason to eat it. So I'm just gonna leave it alone and let them have it. And one more piece, you know, think about this. If you lived in nature, right, not in a house in nature, not in a building in nature, let's say you lived in the forest, in the jungle, in Washington State, in Costa Rica, it doesn't matter where. How often do you think you'd eat honey? Or to rephrase the question, how often do you think you'd be willing to risk, you're running, living naked in nature, how often do you think you'd be willing to risk being stung a hundred times to get some honey? Because if I've got enough fruit, why would I bother with that? I, personally, you know, people ask me, what sweeteners do I use? And I say, I live on fruit. What do I need to sweeten? I, I don't have any sweeteners here. Okay, well, there's nothing. We don't use anything to sweeten anything. The stuff we eat is sweet enough. Now, it's it, interesting. I mean, part of that is culture, me mentality, I suppose. If you go to a... Uh, a juice stand or a smoothie stand in Costa Rica or Panama, and maybe in Chile too, I don't know. You ask for a fruit smoothie and you tell them fruit and water, no milk. You still have to tell them no sugar because they'll put tons of sugar in it unless you say that. And they're like, and sometimes I'll say that and they're like, you don't want any sugar? I'm like, it's fruit. Why would it need to be any sweeter? Okay, but you have to tell them. If sometimes I forget and I get them like, oh, I can't drink this. It's got a bunch of sugar. It's disgusting. It's way too sweet for me. Okay, that's my take. Hi, enjoying my videos? If you'd like to learn much more, check out the Academy for Vibrant Living, where our Vibrant Health course will teach you everything you need to know to take your health to an amazing new level. And if you'd like to turn your passion for health into a lucrative career, check out the health coaching course where you can become a 
professional certified health coach and help as many people as possible see amazing results.